Can you hear a donkey? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can hear him. He's, his name is Leonidas. <laughs> Carlosas Vrikame. Hey, thank you for joining us today. Aurora, who do we have with us today? The amazing, wonderful, and talented Anna Maria Barreau. And Anna Maria Barreau, she's one of our favorite people. One of our most favorite people. And, oh my and where is she at today? Naxos. Naxos Island. Yeah, it's one of the Greek islands. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy this episode because we're making this. And it is so delicious. I wish you could. I know, but only we can. But, uh, and here is Ana Maria Barro. Thank you for joining us. So good to be with you. Yeah, thank you for uh, joining us again. It's uh, always such a pleasure to have you. And you, uh, you create such marvelous dishes all over, all over Greece, all over the world. And uh, wow, what a background uh, you have there, Ana Maria. Yeah, well, it's nice. It's not, it's the Aegean, so lots of light and uh, it's really nice. It's Naxos Island is one of the nicest islands we have on the Aegean. And, and I thought we'll do this, this video together from here because I travel a lot uh, due to my uh, breakfast project in hotels, uh, suites and uh, villas. So I decided that this was a really nice place to, to broadcast uh, this show and to be on your show. Now that's, that's wonderful. And are you, um, um, are you doing menus for one of the hotels there? Well, actually I design uh, the breakfast. Uh, either it's a buffet or I do some floating breakfast. Uh, I do different things, but I only deal with breakfast. So I'm a breakfast consultant. And today I chose a, a recipe which uh, I developed this year. And uh, it's a big hit in all the hotels I've been working so far this year. And I thought I'd share it with you. Uh, we're so happy you did. And um, so uh, this is this breakfast. Um, it's a spinach omelet. And uh, I'm going to bring on screen the ingredients so our people that are following along can, uh, you know, can see the, the ingredients. Yeah, sure. Well, actually, our recipe calls for uh, spinach. We can use either uh, fresh or frozen. Uh, just in case we use the frozen one, we need to thaw it and then we need to drain it uh, very well to remove all the liquids. Then we need uh, a bunch of parsley. We need the uh, fresh mint. If we don't have fresh mint, uh, we can uh, replace it with dried mint. We need spring onions, salt, pepper, and some oil and butter. So we need to saute all these ingredients and we start by uh, sauteing the spring onions, which we need to cut them in uh, small uh, uh, slices, uh, the parsley as well. So I see you have the fresh, the fresh mint, right? I do, I do, it's right here. And so, yeah. so do we I need just to, uh, you need to thinly slice it. When we slice the herbs, we, we better have them totally dry because uh, this will make our life easier just by cutting them. Uh, we end up cutting them in half the time. So yeah, that's great. And then let's chop the parsley or the spring onions, whatever suits you. Okay. Uh, I'm mute for a second. 
so I'm I'm going to cut these pretty pretty thin here too as well. I take it. Yeah, yeah. We need to cut them uh, pretty thin. We are going to saute them. We don't need to have big uh, pieces. And uh, I don't throw the the green part because in this uh, recipe, the green part is the part that will give us uh, the flavor because it's really special once you saute it it's gonna give us a very nice uh, texture and uh, taste okay. oh bob you're doing great <laughs> keep my I, I learned from one of the chefs to keep my fingers like this when i cut sure yeah <laughs> I, I think um, when we first started the show i terrified the poor guy <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with your fingers? Don't do that. You're gonna cut them off. <laughs> I said it's it's cooking with Greek people. I didn't say I was a chef. <laughs> yeah, because you know the the speed they they have in the restaurants are you know they're speeding, so they they shouldn't cut themselves. So that's that's a way to protect themselves. Right. Yeah. So let's see what we got here. I'm getting closer, I think. <laughs> Getting closer. I know uh, you would have probably diced these up in 10 seconds, but. <laughs> well, no, not really. Not really. No, no, no. I'm not, I don't have the speed of a chef uh, because I'm a recipe developer, but I cut them in. Oh, in a... oh this looks, this is, I, I just love doing this. This looks fantastic. This is going to taste fantastic. Yeah, and actually, we 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 don't use this. Uh, we can use this recipe also for a snack in the afternoon when we come home from work and we want something uh, light and easy. We can also uh, have it as a light dinner as well. Mm -hmm. It's not only for breakfast. Mm. Yeah. So what's mm. that? Chives. This is the chives. Do I also yeah. slice these? Yeah. Sure. We need to slice everything. Okay. Oh, I can feel it in my eyes now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of put them on the side here. So use, them. Yeah, I didn't use onions, you know, on purpose because I didn't want you to, to cry on the show. But Oh, my <laughs> gosh. I, yeah. I'll tell you. We Maybe used, the chives are too fresh. We used peppers, uh, like chili peppers one day. Yeah. And I uh, happened to touch my eyes. Oh, my God. My no hands, way. And I had oh. to step away. And it was a live show, too. So <laughs> it... Uh, no, okay. Yeah, these things happen, you know, yeah. <laughs> they happen. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, just put them kind of aside, like here, so you guys can kind of see. Uh huh. Kind of yeah. keep them aside. And then, and then this I will take. Yeah. yeah take this. And um, so now the same here. Now we move to the, to, to the parsley. Do, now, do I keep these ends? The well, stems? Eh, it depends. If the stems are really like, uh, if they're not too hard, yes, we can use them. But if they're too thick and uh, kind of dried, no, we don't. Yeah, I think we're going to cut them. They're a little bit thick. Yeah. Yeah. Them out of the way. All right. And so, what yes. do I, when I saute this, do I saute yeah. um, like the onions first? or? Yes, and we, we better saute the onions first because uh, the spinach is going to give us uh, lots of moist. So we, we don't want it at this point. It Got will it. take us more time to do it. So it. you start, okay. you just start by sauteing the spring onions, the chives, and after two minutes, you can add the parsley, uh, the salt, the pepper. Okay. And, and the, once they're sauteed and the, the onion is translucent, you can add the the spinach okay great okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move then this into the kitchen and we'll mm -hmm. uh bring that camera up and uh, 
Uh, just give me a minute to reset over All there. All right, I'll be and, there. I'm not yeah. going anywhere. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you uh, uh, make her... Uh, and then tell us about Naxos while I'm setting up. Well, Naxos is a really nice island where you can find lots of uh, archaeological uh, monuments. You can find different kind of beaches. And you also have... Um, a few villages in the mountains which are really high and if you go like in the evening it's quite chilly so you can find mostly anything in Naxos. Uh, also Naxos uh, is very well known for the cheeses, the Graviera Naxu, also the Arsenico Naxu which is a very delicate cheese and lately they've been developing uh, different kind of flavors like uh, Graviero with Bukovo. Bukovo is uh, something like chili, uh, a Greek chili actually. And uh, everything tastes so good. They uh, use uh, milk from uh, the sheep that uh, they grow here in Naxos. They also have a very nice, um, very good quality of meat. Uh, so they grow all their animals here in the island. And we, we many times we say that in Naxos, if they have, you know, lots of, if it's very windy and the ships cannot come, they are self-sufficient in this island because they don't need anything. They also have the, the potato of Naxos, which is one of the best quality of potatoes. You can, you can peel uh, the Naxian potatoes and you can just leave them for one hour or two and they won't get brown, they won't get dark. They, they will stay most and, uh, moist and they will also uh, stay uh, like, they won't lose their color. They, they will stay white. And they taste really, really different from the other potatoes. They don't have lots of starch in them. So they're ideal for, um, for uh, frying them. That's why uh, when we say like uh, uh, fries, tiganites patates in Naxos, so they're, they're actually the best. Now it's getting windy and chilly. It was really windy today, uh, but it's something very uh, natural in the Aegean because you mostly get wind. Uh, as of uh, from June till September, uh, most of the days it's quite uh, windy. So how is it going? Did Bob start uh, sauteing? I can see you the You just have to pan. add me. Yeah. Okay. So just add the, the oil or the butter, whatever you have. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, can you guys hear me? Yes, I, I can hear okay. you. Okay, so I think what I'll do is, um, I'm gonna cut some butter up and you can tell me if this is enough or not. Uh, and you need the, you need to put it uh, the, on medium high. Right, I've got it on medium. So yeah. is this butter too much or should it? No, it that's, half? that's fine. No, fine. that's fine. Okay. So. Okay. So. So we're going um, to wait for something like 50% of the butter to melt and then we will add the spring onions together with well, the chives. Should I I have some oil here from Yeah, Sophia. you can you can you can oh, you can add some oil as well. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Well, I figured I, I brought it back from la when I was in Sofia last year, and that was kind of nice. So, um, you know. 
Do you find a nice, good quality of Greek uh, olive oil in in LA? Yeah, you know, not, you know, when, uh, uh, whenever I go there, I, I mean, I try to pick up whatever is local to a region. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I can't carry too much with me, but let me tell you yeah, the brand I can find real easy and you can tell me if it's quality. Um, so this is the brand that I can find real easily. It's uh Oh, okay. Kolimavari. Fanti mm -hmm. is the distributor. Yeah. And, uh, All right. but here, I think you'll find this kind of funny. Uh, of course, uh, my cousin made me bring back olive oil from their farm when I was in Kriti. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is well, actually, I, I can my, my, my brother. My salads. Yeah, actually, actually, my brother who, um, has like olive trees and in December he he has the the olive oil ready he ships it to my family in Canada so oh. they 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 receive every year they receive something like I don't know three gallons of uh, olive oil and they wow. they use it like uh, wisely mostly for sal for the salads oh I can I can understand that I can understand that. Um, so it's going. And uh, so how, is, how is it going? It's is going it good. You know, I just yet? put it on. It, yeah. So it um, just need to give it probably two or three minutes right. to. Yeah. When to it starts to sizzle, you we, we just need to stir it. Yeah. 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 It's sizzling now. Because I, I had mm -hmm. the uh, fire on warm. Um, yeah, and actually it's a, it's an, well, it's not exactly an omelet because we will, uh, as soon as our uh, mixture is ready, we are going to, to add uh, the eggs and just uh, stir it. So we'll end up having uh, not exactly an omelet, but something like a, a scrambled egg with, uh, with uh, mm -hmm. spinach. Okay. So let's see here. Oh, it smells really good. Yeah, it does. It really oh, onion and spring onion always does. Yeah. <laughs> Did you add the salt and the, the pepper? No, but I, I do have callus. So. Yeah, now, no, oh, wow. <laughs> you impress me. <laughs> now, yeah, it's just, now is the time to, to add the salt and the pepper. Okay, and oh my goodness. I can't find my, I have an old fashioned pepper grinder. And, yeah. uh, and then I have the more modern one and I can't find the modern one. Oh, uh, so okay. I may just use pepper from, um, yeah just uh pre that's uh, fine it will taste the same yeah but you know for the fun of it i like uh i like doing that but it uh it's a little bit more work should i add the parsley now yeah uh, if it's sizzling really it it's time to add the yeah then we okay. add the, the parsley okay you know the spring onion once it's um, sauteed it tends to be really sweet i don't know if have, oh. you have noticed with the uh, huh. other recipes yeah and that will give a, a nice sweetness to to our omelet hmm. <coughs> bless you Beatrice. Sorry, <laughs> it's getting right. chilly now because it's windy. <laughs> oh no! And I'm on the balcony, yeah, and the sun is going down, so it's getting a bit chilly. <laughs> but that's oh, fine. Wow. You can go inside if you like. It's nice. It's no, fun. no, no. We're fine. Huh? Okay. So now get, and now also to parsley. speed to speed up the the process. We can uh, put a lid on the on the pan, 
and this way we'll okay. speed up the, the, the process and uh, they will end up cooking uh, quicker by having the, the lid on, you know, with okay. the steam. Let's see if this is the appropriate lid. Well, it'll have to do. Give it a yeah. Like did that. did did you have the time to 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 strain the uh, the spinach because it tends to 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 have a lot of moist. Oh, I can strain it. Yeah, it's very important. That behind the scenes here. Yeah. It's amazing how much water comes out from the spinach every time we use it. Oh, I bet. Yeah, I can tell. Let's see. So I think the the next I I bet I put the mint on last. Is that correct? Well, you could add it together with the parsley, and it will be fine. Okay. And just in case we're using the dried uh, mint, we can add it together no. with the pepper. Oh, okay. Once we add the yeah, salt and the pepper, the, uh, we can the add the dried. Mint. But since you have a fresh uh, mint, it's okay. That looks really nice. The oh, colors are so vibrant. Yeah, I can imagine how, uh, like your house must be smelling really nice right oh now. Oh my God, yeah, that yeah, <laughs> is. Just a second. Can you bring me my phone and I'll take some pictures. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. You can just stir it for a while and then you can add the spinach. It's time to, to add the spinach. Okay. And... Okay. Mm, that does smell good. So now you, you just need to put the lid on and just yeah. keep it for a few minutes and the our mixture uh, our mixture will be ready. Uh, okay. And once 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 it's ready, we we, we don't need to use the whole uh, um, mixture. We can take something like uh, half of the mixture and uh, just add few eggs on it. We will will uh, proceed with that later. Okay. And we can so keep the four rest. Eggs uh, that I was going to do with it. Yeah, so take... four eggs are fine for half the okay. mixture. Okay. So, and then we'll just save it for later. Or maybe less than, yeah, or maybe less than, than, than half. Maybe you need to, how, was it one pound? Yeah, uh, yeah, but I, you know, I only used three quarters of a pound, to be honest with you. I didn't use it all, it was okay, too much. Okay, so, so that, that means we can use half of the mixture with four eggs. And okay, also for, for cheese lovers, we could add some grated cheese, around 100 grams of, uh, whatever cheesy you know um the chewy the one that melts really nice i have kefalo gravira kefalo gravira would be fine caseri is would? even better i'm sorry but caseri is would be even better? better yes okay caseri 
yeah just no it's just an info we're giving to to the people that are watching us that we could we could use also for cheese lovers you can use uh, cheese as well in this recipe but we don't need to yeah. use uh, cheese right now yeah i'm going to use the cassetti just because that's what i have available and uh can you hear a donkey <laughs> is there a donkey in the background yeah you know, i, don't I know can't if you can hear i can't him. see you on my side it doesn't show me his, uh, his name your, is your leonidas side? He's he's the mascot of this uh, you know area, and he's called Leonidas. Oh, oh my gosh! Well, I yeah. think he's probably pretty brave then to be around there. <laughs> They're so cute. Gosh. Okay. Oh, great! And you could keep this mixture for up to five days in the refrigerator. Or we oh. could freeze it as well and keep it up to three weeks in the freezer. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep um, half of it for tomorrow. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, but that's a great recipe. So, and it's something, you know, usually people have at least some of these ingredients in their um, yeah, they're easy ingredients. Yeah. Actually, they're ingredients that you can have at home, like frozen right. spinach. We all we always have in the freezer. Parsley, we right. always have a bunch of parsley. And if you if you don't have dried, uh, if you don't have fresh mint, you can use the dried ones. Salt, pepper, okay. butter, oil. There you go. You made the, a nice meal out of nothing. I do is just take half of this out now. Yes, take half of it now. I think the rest will go uh, with scrambled eggs. So, um, do I uh, do I whisk the eggs first before I? No, you uh, just need to 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 break them in a bowl. And we yeah. actually break them in a bowl so that if you, we get some broken shells. Sure. So I'm going to break them in a bowl right now. We lost her. Okay. Can you hear me? Can you uh, hear me? Do you still have me? Yeah, I still have you, but I lost her. Okay. Hey, she we're just... recording. It says live or something, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it says live in the corner. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, I'll just wait for her to come back. Hopefully that happens soon. Okay. But just, just put uh, this on the big screen. Oh, here she is. I lost you for a while, but uh, yeah. <laughs> After all, we, we're on an island, so we don't have the, the best uh, connection. Oh, it's okay. I think we're in good shape here. Um, so let me... Uh... Aurora, do you have both of us up on the screen? Or just me? Okay, Anna Maria, I'm whisking the eggs, or I'm just using oh, pork. Yeah, you, you don't need to whisk them, just uh, throw them. The, the reason we, we break them in a bowl is that we would like to remove any shells sure. that we might, uh, okay. you know. But it's okay, even if you whisk them, that's fine. Okay. So now you, you just need to stir them, and our recipe is, uh, is ready. Okay. Great. And you Ooh, can enjoy it with fresh with fresh bread or baguette or whatever you you have oh wow this is fantastic it's got a little... and actually a, a tip that you could do or we could share with the, our audience is that uh, we could do this mixture on a on an easy day where we have time 
and then we can have something like two portions during the week uh, so that if we don't have time during the week coming af uh, coming from work and we're too tired to to do something to cook or prepare something this is nice with a uh, and it suits it, it tastes really good with a tomato and cucumber salad oh so it's a whole meal actually sure i use it for breakfast but uh, it's it's a recipe that we could use for for a uh, for a late uh, you know lunch or a light dinner oh that's great you know you don't need to dry it more we have to be careful not to dry the eggs so just remove okay. it from from the heat and you're ready to enjoy it okay i'm going to put it on a on a little plate here and take it outside so we can have a look at this oh wow looks delicious All right, hang in there, Aurora. I'm coming out. Ah. <laughs> All right. I'm so excited. <laughs> Smells so good. Yeah. All right, here we are. I know. It's uh. Sure. Now we have to take some pictures of it before we do anything. <laughs> well, otherwise it didn't. It, it if didn't we don't, happen. It didn't happen if we don't have pictures. Smells so good. Okay. Okay. All right. Here yeah. we go. Let me eat. <laughs> Let me eat. All right. We should. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make this big so we can show us what. Mm. Ready? Let's do this. <laughs> Peace. Oh. Why am I such a pig here? <laughs> Why am I doing so much different? Real. Okay, here we go. All right. Bon appetit. Calioxi, as we say in Greece. So good. Oh, that's delicious. I'm that glad delicious. you like it. And also, it's a very nice and easy recipe for the students, which don't have time or the experience to cook. That's a nice uh, recipe that they can do like it's easy it's tasty it's it's full of vitamins yeah mm. Mm -hmm. wow thank you so much i thank you bob and aurora for having me on your show well can, um you know i one of the things we we've never really talked about is that i believe you have a book don't you yeah, I do have a book and it's a Christmas book with uh, different parties, uh, uh, you know, that go around uh, November and December. Oh, wow. That's terrific. So now we know what we're doing for yeah. Christmas. I know. Now we, you know, we're going to try some of those recipes in your book now. Um, yeah, do you want sure. to tell us the, well, the name now, of the book? Yeah, now you gave me a, an idea. My, my book is uh in english it would be celebrating christmas and actually since my son is coming next week 
to LA, I'm gonna send you a book with him. See, oh. see what I did there? <laughs> see what I did? I got, I got us a book. Woo. <laughs> it's gonna go in our book yeah. show. Um, yeah. Well, look, I can't thank you enough for being here with us. And uh, oh, it was a pleasure. A the pleasure was all mine. <laughs> it's just such a delight. Okay, and we're gonna say goodbye, but you hang in there. I want to talk to you afterwards. But we're just gonna all say right. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Okay. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Make sure to what? Like, subscribe on YouTube and Facebook, and we're on Instagram, so give us a follow. And Twitter. And Twitter. And Twitter. But, you know, it's real important that, that you like us and subscribe on YouTube, because if you like the content we create, that shows the algorithm that, hey, you know, something's happening. And, uh, and our videos are getting thousands of views now, yeah. which is nice on YouTube. I mean, we've always done real well on Facebook, but that's terrific. Thank and, you so much. Yeah, and thank you. And thank you for joining us. And we will see you next time here on Cooking with Greek People. Yes, sir. Sas.